Hey, how's it going? Damon Salceus with albinochondro.com. I get a lot of emails from people that have questions about the incubator that I use to hatch tree python eggs. I built the incubator out of a, out of a large marine cooler uh, and it has worked very well for me. There was a lot of, of sweat and tears that went into the design of it and it's worked really well. So I made this video uh, to outline the assembly of the major components and in future weeks we'll have more videos that describe in depth uh, the sorts of things that I do on a more specific level to make the incubator functional. Um, the incubator can be used of course to incubate all sorts of reptile eggs but it was designed specifically to handle the rigors of tree python egg incubation which is a little more nuanced than most reptile eggs so hopefully you'll find it helpful if you have any questions uh, at the end go ahead and post them in the comment section below or shoot me an email and I'll try to address them in future videos so enjoy I start with a 120 quart igloo marine cooler I then build a rectangular PVC pipe frame with exterior dimensions of 31 by 11 and 1 half inches around which I wrap a 16 foot long freeze protection cable. It's important to use a cable without the built-in thermostat. The type that I use has to be special ordered and is not available at local home improvement stores. Uh, there's more about uh, the cables and where you can order them on the website. Uh, I cover the frame and cable with a 32 inch by 12 inch section of vinyl coated wire shelving. On top of the wire shelf I place three 10 by 12 and a half by 2 and a half inch stainless steel trays that are filled with water. This serves to increase the amount of thermal mass in the system and also increase the humidity in the operating incubator. Uh, I then build another PVC frame uh, large enough to rest on the rims of the stainless steel trays. At this point I run the air line, the thermistor probes, and the CPU fan leads through the drain hole and place the respective items in the approximate location that they'll sit when the incubator is completed. Uh, the air line is connected to, a, uh, to an air stone and secured in the center pan uh, the air stone and the air line both serve to introduce fresh air into the system, which I think is something that has been conspicuously absent from most incubator designs, but it also serves to atomize the water in the center pan and push the ambient humidity inside the incubator, those last uh, critical percentage points to uh, total saturation. Uh, on top of the PVC frame, I place another vinyl coated wire shelf or a section of styrene egg crate. Uh, I then use zip ties and rubber bands to suspend 12 volt 10, 10 cubic foot per minute uh, CPU fans from the underside of the shelf. Uh, the rubber bands serve to dampen the vibration of the running fans, uh, something that I kind of felt was uh, or could be problematic. Uh, the fans are placed diagonally from one another and facing in opposite directions in order to circulate and homogenize the air both in terms of temperature and humidity. Uh, the egg uh, boxes are placed on that top shelf and then I cut uh, two pieces of quarter inch acrylic that measure 17 and 3 16 by 14 and a half inches uh, and then I round the corners and those uh, two pieces uh, fashion a sectioned lid for the interior of the unit that sits on the inside ledge. Uh, that way I can open the main lid for the cooler uh, while the incubator is in operation and monitor progress without dumping heat uh, from the entire system. At this point the only thing left to do is hook up the air pump. Uh, I use a Rena Air 100 the thermostat and the thermistor to the probes that had been run through the drain hole earlier uh, then add water to the stainless steel trays. The unit will take approximately uh, an hour to get up to temperature and equalize uh, and then after that it uh, should be ready for eggs. Well hopefully that was helpful. Uh, like I said before if you have any questions or comments go ahead and post in the comments below or uh, send me an email uh, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're planning on having a lot of videos coming out uh, in, the, in the next few weeks and months uh, to cover a lot of the questions that uh, are posed to me so frequently about how I 
uh, how I do things with uh, incubation and raising tree pythons and that kind of stuff. So make sure you subscribe. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.